Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Jimping with your crispy review. Today we have another brand new knife from Maxis called the Peregrine S. Now before we start, as always, if you haven't already, go and leave a like on this video if you want to see more videos like this from us in the future, and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you find yourself frequently coming back to the channel, or you'd like to receive notifications when new videos drop, why not consider subscribing? That aside, let's go and get straight into today's review. This is the boxy Max Ace Peregrine S comes in. We have a nice gray box, the Max Ace logo here in black, and the Max Ace name in white and blue, and the same design on the back. Let's go open the box up. Inside the box, we have a Max Ace box logo cover, a gray Max Ace cleaning cloth, and here we have the Peregrine S pocket knife itself. That's a really cool knife. The handle is really nice. Feels very good too. There are currently three different variants of the Peregrine S. All three variants will be available on our website as this video is released. The handle of this knife is made from a yellow PEI Ulta material and does not have a lanyard hole on the bottom. The handle of this knife is, like I said before, very smooth, very nice, and I can get a really good grip on the handle. So if you have bigger or smaller hands, you won't have to worry about not getting a good grip on the knife's handle. Moving on to the back of the knife, there is a gray pocket clip on the back so you can wear the knife in your pocket or in your jeans, shorts, or belt, or even in your boot if you prefer to wear it that way. The pocket clip is reversible, so if you are left-handed, you can switch it to the other side for your comfort. If you look closely at the inside of the handle, you can see this knife has a line of lock mechanism. So in order to close the knife, you'd push the line of lock to the left, disengaging the lock, and I'm going to push the blade back inside of the handle. Moving on to the blade of the knife, the blade is made from a 10CR15COMOV steel and has a drop point style to it. There's also two gray thumb studs on the blade, one on each side, so you can open the knife with one hand. There's also a front flipper tab if you prefer to wear it to open it that way instead. There's also a very small amount of jimping on the top of the blade behind the thumb studs as well. The blade has a satin finish to it with a flat grind, and if you look closely, you can see the Max Ace logo and name imprinted on the left side of the blade in black. Lastly, let's go over the links and specifications of the Max Ace Peregrine S. The yellow PEI Ultim handle is 4.49 inches long. The 10CR15CO MOV steel blade is 3.78 inches long. And the overall length of the knife is 8.27 inches long. And that is about it for today's review. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is currently three different variants of the Max Ace Peregrine S. All three variants will be available on our website as this video is released. If you all have enjoyed today's review, please consider leaving a like on the video if you want to see more videos like this from us in the future and share this video with your friends and family. Also, if you find yourself frequently coming back to the channel or you'd like to receive notifications when a new video drops, why not consider subscribing? Thank you all for watching the video, and I hope all of you have a great rest of your day.